Hello everybody, it's Andy from SoCamp to Europe, in Kaprun, Austria. It is Saturday the, what is it, the 6th? Yep. 6th of June, and we are on our way to get the first lift, the 8.30 lift, up to the Kitstein Horn. It's a blue sky day. It snowed yesterday. We were expecting powder, but maybe because it stopped snowing quite early on in the morning, it's uh, consolidated overnight, so it might not be as powdery as we expected. But I am with Fabian Steeple, boot fitter. And we are on our way to meet um, a couple of guys from Fisher, Fisher Skis. Uh, we are going to be testing prototype ski boots. So this vlog is going to be all about the new boots. Now, how much of the boots we can actually show you, we're yet to find out. But um, we'll probably have to get a, get a little glimpse of them at least. Um, the one thing you will notice is these boots are totally unbranded. Anyway, we're, uh, we'll get ourselves up there and uh, we'll be back very soon. Bobby's boots are nice and warm. Of course, they're wearing a nice warm pair. That's how you put boots on. These boots are also <laughs> nice and warm. Temperature. So, were mine cold? Yours are 16, 16 and a half. Yeah, this is 16 and a half. Oh, so, folks, we're on our way up the lift. Um, we got Fabi, we got Keith, who everybody knows by now. Chris, who we introduced you to via who's behind the goggles the other day, and we've also got a colleague of Chris, which is Nick. Hi. Um, I told you not to speak. Who I've told <laughs> not to speak because he works at uh, Fisher in finance, and therefore that's not customer facing, so he's not allowed to talk. Um, so today we've got some prototype boots, which we may or may not be able to show you. We've yet to decide. And what we're going to do is Chris is going to give them to Fabi. He's not going to tell him what the changes are in the boots. Fabi's going to ski the boots. He's going to try and work out what the difference is. And this could be anything from formulation of the plastic. It could be the shape. It could be um, the the position of the foot. It could be a hundred and one different things. But um, Chris is going to basically get Fabi skiing on each of the boots and Fabi's going to have to try and decide what is different versus the old boot. So let's see how that goes. In the meantime, we're all going to also ski around and just have a great time because it is looking absolutely epic out there. So we'll be back in a short while. So the guys have just done the first run in a, one of the pair of prototypes and uh, they're just going over what they're feeling. Now the thing is conditions are extremely difficult, it's so um, heavy. The snow is very very um, wet, heavy, it's proper proper summer conditions today. We were hoping for a bit of powder but um, what happened is it, it stopped snowing yesterday about 11 then it warmed up a hell of a lot and uh, Obviously, the, the the moisture in the in what fell is kind of is, is melting out, and there's about a good half a foot on top, but it's just breaking up, and um, yeah, it, it's difficult to ski. So it's difficult to test boots as well. But they uh, they do seem to be um, having a good old conversation about the difference in the boot they were in, which is their own boot, which is the older version, and now the new version, which is the prototype that they're testing. So we'll get back down to the lift and we'll go again. Different pair of boots. Ah, shit, I'm good. Uh, come on, look at this. I can see good, huh? The pink skis. Uh, we're on it. So, um, we've finished for the day, folks. We're on our way back down to the valley um, off the Kitsan and Glacier. The guys have been testing the, the boots. Um, we can't actually tell you what they discussed because um, obviously you would then be finding out uh, well whether, it, was, whether it was positive or negative. <laughs> yeah, well that, we, we could tell you what would have to kill you. But they uh, they basically spent the day in the the new boots, uh, also in the old boots, and um, working trying to work out what the differences were because um, obviously Fabi wasn't told what the differences were at the beginning. He's given some feedback to um, Chris, and uh, he's going to take that back to 
to the, the laboratory, let's say, exactly. to the office. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Um, a day up on the Kitsan Horn. Uh, we bumped into Melanie. Um, we've made a shorter vlog about how to build a mogul course, which we'll post later. Um, but yeah, that's it for today, folks. Comments below, like it, share it. You know what to do. Andy from SoCamp Europe saying bye for now. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.